Hello Toads and Toadettes. Welcome to a long-awaited next video in my 3DS collecting series, and that is gonna be with the 3DS don't buys these games that just like don't don't get them. They're, they're not good. They're not good, or there's just better versions of those games out there. And I'm just gonna make this intro pretty quick. But yeah, I do recommend checking out my other videos, those are good as well. And without further ado, let's get into the first game on my 3DS don't buys list. First, we're going to start off with a pretty obvious one, and that is Mario Party, the Top 100. This game, I actually wasn't that, like, I didn't think of it that badly when it first came out. I thought it was an interesting idea, like a first Mario Party game that really wasn't a boardish type thing, besides Advance. And, it, you know, it was fun, but then I started to notice after an hour that, wow, this gets boring very quickly, and there's one board in the whole entire game. And some of these mini games are just horrible. Like, there's like that one with the Mecha Koopa, and I think that's in this game, and this, the CPUs just win every single time. So no, it is not the ultimate party package. This game sucks, and I would just not recommend it. If you're gonna get a Mario Party on the go, get Mario Party DS or Mario Party Island 4 or Star Rush. Those games are fine with DS being on top for me. Those are the portable experiences to go with, not Mario Party the Top 100. Also in the Mario franchise, we have Mario Sports Superstars, another game I would just not recommend. I played this game for about 10 minutes, and I was I was just done. Like, no, I'm not going to play this any longer. It, the only thing cool about this was the Amiibo cards. It was something cool to collect, but just after that, this game got boring. The soccer, it just sucks in this game. It's nothing crazy. And all the other sports like Mario Tennis and Golf and just horse racing and baseball. There's Sluggers, there's Tennis, Mario Tennis, there's Mario Golf. You don't need to play those. Horse racing, Kelly is this game. And soccer kind of exists in this game. No idea why they decided to make this game a sequel to Mario Sports Mix. Doesn't make sense to me. Didn't make sense to anyone else. This game is just a not, not a good Mario Sports game. Just pick up another Mario Sports game. This one is just not good. Next, our final Mario franchise game, also on the Mario Sports side, we have Mario Tennis Open. If you're gonna buy a Mario Tennis game, don't buy this one. I mean, don't buy the, the Ultra Trash as well. We'll get to that one in my Wii U and don't buy videos. But that's a topic for another day. Mario Tennis Open is slightly better than that game, but it's still not good. It is probably the most basic and beginner's Mario Tennis you can get. There is just nothing cool happening and it's only new gimmick was like the star shots and all that and obviously playing online was pretty cool but besides that this game just does not have that much content i haven't actually played this game long enough to know if there was a story mode i don't recall there being a story mode i'm pretty sure that was only in mario golf world tour but yeah like i said just not much to say about this game it's just not the best game in the world you can have some fun with it, I could say. It's not like the worst game I have on this list so far. It's just, I don't I don't see any kind of value coming out of this. It is a pretty cheap game though. I have not been saying the prices, but this game is around like a 20-ish dollar game last time I checked. I've not checked my prices in a while, so these prices might be a little bit off. So don't really take this into consideration. This is probably gonna be $20 on the eShop though. Quickly, just wanted to clarify, Mario Sports Superstars is kind of probably going to cost you $35-ish on the 2nd hand market and probably $40 in the eShop. Mario Party Top 100 is probably going to cost you around $40-60-ish to -ish on the 2nd hand market and $40 on the eShop. Just wanted to clarify. Next, we're going into the Zelda franchise with a spin-off, Hyrule Warriors Legends. This game is by no means bad. I have beat this game sadly. I chose to beat this version. This version of the game is really not that good. The Wii U version is missing some stuff like the DLC or switching on command in the battles. But if you're gonna play this game, don't get the Wii U version, don't get this version, get Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. That game is just leagues above these two versions. And if anything, just get Hyrule Warriors on Wii U, it's just better than this version. Just don't get Hyrule Warriors Legends. This game does come with a free 3DS wallpaper, which I guess was kind of a benefit. But it's just basically a worse way to play Hyrule Warriors Legends. Like the Linkle DLC and the Wind Waker DLC are pretty cool and they were pretty fun. But this thing runs like crap. I was about to beat the final boss and then my 3DS just crashed. Like I had to go through the whole entire stage again. Like that was just not not the fondest of memories. The 3DS could not, it's a new 3DS XL too. It's not the best condition, but it just could not handle the cutscenes in this game. 
they didn't really did not plan this out well and it's not even new 3ds exclusive i can't even imagine playing this on a toaster i mean a 3ds like just just don't get this if you actually want your 3ds to work properly get the other versions this version is just not where it's at almost forgot this game is probably around 25 dollars on secondhand market and i want to say around 40 dollars on the eShop. Now, everyone's favorite game, Hey Pikmin. This one kind of hits different personally, as I am a very, very big Pikmin fan. But this game sadly falls below the bar. Instead of just making another good 3D Pikmin, they decided to take Pikmin into a new mainline series of 2D Pikmin. At first, it would look kind of interesting, and it used amiibos pretty well, and the stylus and the touchscreen, but it's just kind of boring and tedious after the first level. The things you actually collect in the game are not the funnest and most rewarding things to collect. They're kind of just like a lot. I feel like there's too much of the things you need to collect to get off this planet that it just kind of becomes annoying and tedious. The bosses are not fun. They're not hard either. The game doesn't control that well. And just 2D levels don't run good with Pikmin's game philosophy of squad control and just a, a strategy type game. You don't have much space to work with in a 2D environment, and I just feel like that's where this game kind of went wrong. It had potential to be something new for Pikmin, but instead it just has been, uh, it's just been a poop stain on Pikmin's legacy. This game you're probably looking at around $40 on the secondhand market and probably $40 on the eShop. Next, we have another fan favorite, Detective Pikachu, starring in Detective Pikachu, the, the movie, not the game, also starring in the game. Okay, we're not gonna go into that. Detective Pikachu, I have not finished this. I actually was playing it and I got to the second chapter and I quit because I just could not make it through. I remember when this game first came out, I did watch a full Let's Play because I somehow was interested. But when I came back to the seat of this game to try to beat it myself, nah, it, it, just, it just was not happening. This game is a detective Pokemon game. It one of the only like mystery genre detective genre nintendo games period and it sucks like it is just bad it's very boring it is every chapter is so slow and i get you're in detective games you're trying to find clues and all that see what's happened it's just too slow and too much things i feel like it goes on for too long the first chapter i was just like when is this gonna end and like some stuff was just put in very stupid spots just not good game design it could have had good potential but just it just didn't work out and pikachu speaks like i don't i don't i don't know man i don't know the amiibo is cool but just the whole entire gist of this game did not flow well with me maybe it flew well with someone else i know it's a pretty controversial game and it was even more it's just ironic when it got its own movie but yeah detective pikachu probably 30 dollars to 40 dollars in the second hand market and 40 dollars on the eShop. and lastly on this list not to say that there are not other games that i wouldn't really recommend there is a few more that I don't actually currently have that I'll just list as honorable mentions since I don't have them and so I'm glad to not have them. And that's like Chibi Robo Ziplash is an example of a game that I really wouldn't recommend. Also Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn, I would not recommend as just play the Wii version, it's just better. There's just no really reason to get the 3DS version. And there's some games that I find kind of average that I wouldn't recommend to some people, but I would recommend to others. It's kind of just in the middle. And some of those you might recognize, but I'm just not going to go over those. So let's get this list over with, with Pokemon Art Academy. This game is not bad. This is kind of like a, a, a treatment of like, it's not bad, but it's just not good either. Drawing, if you're into drawing, you will probably like this game. It is a little bit basic as none of the drawings actually really go into like deep, deep fundamentals or deep details of actual art. But it is an interesting process. I drew Pikachu and then I just closed the application because I didn't want to draw anymore. Interesting game. No idea actually why this came out. Looking back at it, it's kind of just random. But you just draw. Nothing else to do. No idea. It is, it is Pokemon because you draw Pokemon. That's it. Nothing else really cooking for this game. If you're looking to get this game, it's probably around 40 to 60 maybe even $80. I don't really know. I haven't checked this game in a while. On the second hand market and probably $40 on the Nintendo eShop. And there you go, these are my 3DS don't buys. Like I said, there were some honorable mentions that I don't have, like Chibi Robo, Ziplash, and Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. And then just some others that are kind of close to being don't buys, but are still what I would consider good, which I won't go over those, but you can probably guess a few. But yeah, these are the really don't buys, and some are just like 
just get over a better version of this this game or some are just playing out bad like just some are just kind of boring in some aspect basically just don't really get these games i wouldn't recommend it maybe if you're really interested like in drawing then get arctic academy or if for some reason you're just really into pikachu talking or just detective stuff maybe you can get detective pikachu but i personally wouldn't recommend it but yeah i'm just gonna wrap this video up here i would recommend checking out my other 3ds collecting series videos those are pretty good too and look out for my wii u don't buy is coming soon as well i do have other nintendo related content on my channel which i would recommend checking out if you like this video please consider subscribing and maybe even liking subscribing is free helps me out makes you feel better it's christmas time spread the holiday cheer by giving me a subscribe and on that note guys i'll see you in the next one